Gagluev, his opponent. Representing Slovakia. Yeah, the first one we've seen. 31 out of Vodakovka's North Ossetia, Lania. That's where he hails from. Berenice originally from Georgia, as the last name might indicate, Idze. See, Idze's and Vili's, chances are they're Georgian. But he's representing Armenia. Has been for the last several years. Beach Wrestling World Champion 2011. Well, not a guy I want to run into on the beach and wrestle. <laughs> Will wrestle? So no. By, by that definition, there are other guys you would like to run onto the beach and wrestle with. Typically, no. When I'm at the beach, I like to have a, a cold drink, perhaps a margarita to celebrate Cinco de Mayo or something like that. Or something with a frilly hat and a passivity call. Well, who's going to have something to celebrate at the end of this one? Slovakia or Armenia? Kaglev taking that warning there. We mentioned that, was it 270 pounds? 275-ish. 275 multiplied by two. Yeah, I, I can't go the kilos, it's 2.2 something. I, I, I can, it's like pie, I can go 3.14. I don't really know anything beyond that. Well, there's been no shortage of pie between these two heavyweights. I'm gonna tell them you said that and they're not gonna be happy with you. See you in your next life, John Cullen. <laughs> Coming up on the halfway point, nothing but a passivity warning here. And this is one thing with the heavyweights. Typically, you're in situations where it's sometimes just one mistake, one half shot. Sometimes he who shoots badly loses, and uh, he who shoots badly sometimes falls down. And just because the amount of, you know, human you have to move sure. is, is significant. As uh, Giglov now on the shot clock with his second passivity warning. It's a different style of wrestling altogether. Yep, timing important, as you rightly mentioned there, trying to create an opening, let your opponent make a mistake and then capitalize because this real endurance, as we mentioned that, 500 plus pounds being shipped back and forward. Intense effort from both men. There's the one point for Berenice after the passivity clock has expired. Berenice trying to drive the underhook to the left side controlling the wrist near his hip. A lot of, basically here, John, it's it's a lot of wrist control, fighting for inside position to try to create action off a collar tie. Uh, create a gap where maybe you can catch somebody's leg kind of hanging and you get a quick snatch single or something like that. You're not gonna see a lot of leg attacks from underneath. You'll see sweeps. You'll try to maybe see an ankle pick from a guy with a longer leg or a foot sweep like there. You'll try to borrow some tactics from judo or, or things of that nature, even though they don't really do foot sweeps anymore in judo. I'm guessing that changing the level when you're carrying that amount of power and strength to get down and back up, a lot of energy involved in that. So more of a kind of Greco style stand up, well, grab the upper body. Yeah, it depends on the athlete too. I mean, we've got some great, you'll see, you'll yep. see. Petrishvili uh, perhaps. Petrishvili yeah. and Akgul really, really wrestle like middleweights. But again, you've got two guys pushing and shoving here. It's, uh, it's a tactical match. A lot of it is trying to wear the other guy down. In this case, trying to maybe draw some passivities, push outs. I mean, they, they can't roll around like the 57 kilo guys can. No, I've been watching them because we're staying in the same hotel as the athletes. They've been training Berenice every morning in the hotel gym. And his workout consists of lifting the heaviest weights that he can find for about five or six minutes and then going sitting in the sauna. So it's a total workout time of about 11 minutes. Well, match time's only six. Yeah, so he's obviously doubled it up. And it's working well for him so far. Both these guys are just mountains. Yeah. But who can move the mountain and grab the medal? Levan Baranice well, they need a similar start to the second period. Gagloev trying to go for it a little bit more. So much energy expended in these exchanges. I mean, I'll be honest with you, we're probably just gonna have another three minutes of dancing bears. The 
referee can't bear it for much longer. Hence the whistle. Gagliev has a chance now to try and get a point on the board here, and he will be the last man to score. So that would give him, as Jason has ably explained, that criteria. So Beranidze has to do something. He's got a good hold of the neck now, trying to pull Gagliev down. Finds a space using that hulking frame to push Gagliev back. Can he convert? He's got five seconds before that point sneaks up. He's got the single leg, though. And there you see the one point awarded the passivity of Glove actually had. What is he doing? He's using Berenice as a beach chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned beach wrestling. That's not the technique you see in beach wrestling very much. I mean, what is... It's the lounge chair, the Gadsiev. I mean, I, I, that's that's a playground move. That is, and it's, but it's effective. It's worked. It's worked. It's the best, that's why freestyle wrestling it just makes stuff up. Yep, it is freestyle in name and nature. Go there, go there, go there. Far from free and clear at the moment, Gaglev. He's got the criteria advantage. One point apiece. How much energy did Berenice use in that exchange? He's breathing hard now. Slovak leading on, but can he get pushed out here? Looks like it. Tries to convert a big throw of his own. I'm thinking one red here. They go two. Two red confirmed. I'm wondering if we're going to see a brick. No. A 3 1 lead for Barry Nite. We've seen some, again, one mistake sometimes. Or who doesn't make a mistake? I'm still, I still cannot get over the whole lawn chair. The, I mean, <laughs> the Slovakian lawn chair. That's going to be the new name of that move. Post on the head, lean back, and just chill. He's got not much time, though. He has to step it up now. Gagloev. Berenice. Well, he needed that shot. He got it. Turned defense into attack. Took that two point takedown. Takes the lead as we go into the last 20 seconds in this one. As for the heavyweight bronze, day number three at the Europeans. Levan Berenice, he was under a bit of pressure. Gagloev tries to shoot for the legs of his own. He's got a hold of one. Great defence, though. Yeah, it looked like he might have led with a headbutt to try to set that up. But Berenice going to defend, drive the unders, and take home a bronze medal. 26-year-old from Armenia, now picking up a European bronze to go with this 2010 World Bronze Medal. Soslan Gagloev, try as he might, couldn't deal with the might of Berenice, that power.